Hello everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and usually I'm talking about anti-malware software and techniques but today I want to discuss something that's just as bad as a malware infection, if not worse and that is a congested startup and unnecessary services. I'm going to teach you guys how to drastically speed up your computer, basically bring it back to uh, the day in which you bought it or even better. So, um, what I have here is a computer with Windows XP. It has 256 megs of RAM. It's uh, Windows XP minimum. Um, and we're going to go ahead and reboot it right now. And we're going to take a look and see how long this thing takes to boot up. This uh, computer has Norton Antivirus 2009, Norton Internet Security 2009, and a lot, a lot of startup items. Uh, these, these are things that I see a lot when I go out on my daily calls to help out people with their computers. They just have a massive, massive uh, startup list. And it's killing their computing experience, basically. They really are kind of paralyzed. They can't do much uh, because their computer is sapped by all these startup items. Uh, not only does this affect boot boot time, but this affects just you running your computer. And I'm also a victim of this as well. I install a lot of software on my uh, computer, and I always forget to clean up my startup. And I'm going to show you how to clean up your startup here in a second. Um, but let's go ahead and bring the clock over here. And we can see it's 6.36 and 28 seconds. So let's see how long it takes. We're going to look at this little uh, hard drive indicator. And it, you can see this hard drive indicator is green. That means that we're hitting the hard drive constantly. And it's making that, it's making that crunching noise. You guys all know what I'm talking about. Um, where your hard drive is just making that crunching noise and you really can't do much at all. It just drives you crazy. So, forgive me, this part's going to be kind of boring, but I need to state a point. And that's how long this takes for this light to kind of become idle. We want this light to barely flicker, just a little bit. So keep in mind we started at 6.36.28 and we're at 6.37.28 now so it's been a minute and we're still trying to log in here. Now of course you can go out and buy more RAM and th that'll solve a lot of it but why have all those startup items start? I mean why, why deal with all that extra stuff? The only startup items that really need to start on your computer are security software items, things like that. Um, anything security wise, you, you need to have your security running. It is an unfortunate slowdown, but it's one of those things you got to do. Of course, everyone's looking for security software that barely uses any RAM at all. I personally, on my uh, own computers here, on two of my computers, I use Defense Wall. And that is a HIPS application, a sandboxer, basically, that that uh, uses about 5 megabytes of RAM to run on my computer. Uh, most, security, most security software uses 30, 40, 100 megabytes of RAM. So you have to have your security software running. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. You might hear my beagles barking. They're in the other room. Of course, they always decide to play right when I try to record something. It's almost three minutes, and my hard drive light down here is just lit solid. We take a look at uh, 
I'll bring the clock back up in a second. I can't even bring up my task manager because the computer's just too busy trying to start up all these startup items. So I, I think you get a feel of how long this is going to take to actually start. You can you can kind of see this. I don't want to sit here and bore this with you, bore you with this. I mean, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it for a second, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the time. Okay, we're going on um, oh about six minutes here now for our boot up still. Hard drive still lit solid. You can see that down there. So CPU usage is way up there. 100% CPU. Basically, we're out of RAM. You can see that we have 18 megabytes of RAM free. And, um, you know, this person is just sitting here. They could eat breakfast, go out for a short drive or a jog, which may be a good thing. Um, but, I mean, you're just sitting here forever. So, I mean, we're getting close to, like, you know, 10-minute mark. If you take a look at the time down there, it's 6.44. It's pretty crazy. It started at um, So I'm going to pause it again. I'll be right back. Okay. It's uh, 646. And that was a 10 minute startup. Because now you take a look. And my hard drive is pretty much just normal. Barely uh, barely green at all. Barely any activity. And my CPU is uh, dropped off from right there. And we're pretty much normal now. But uh, even to use this computer now... Um, it's it's painfully slow just just to do anything i can't even open up my computer at any kind of decent pace so that is what happens when you have a massive startup and we're going to take a look at the startup now we're going to click start run type in ms config hit enter and these on the on the startup tab right here, you can see my startup items. And this is a really tame list. This is barely anything at all. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I want to make sure that my antivirus software is enabled. Now, since I'm using um, Norton Internet Security 2009, um, it does not have a startup item anymore. It relies on a service. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and disable everything. This is non-critical stuff. If I want to start it later, I can. I don't need it to start every time I restart my computer. If I jump over to services, I'm going to go ahead and disable my indexer. I don't need to index my computer right now. If I want to, I will. Some other things I'm going to disable, like uh, the Apple Bonjour service. I don't need that to run every time. A Java Quick Starter. This is a Viewpoint Manager. Just a few things I don't need to start. So I'll go ahead and hit close. And I'll restart. And then we'll reset the clock once we restart here.
So I realize a lot of people know about msconfig and startups, but there seem to be a lot of people who don't. So this video is for you guys. If you have a friend or a family member kind of suffering from this, you know, massive startup list problem, um, please send them to this video. Hopefully it'll help them out. So you can see how long it takes to shut down, too. Okay, it's 649.54. I'm going to write that down just so I remember. Let's see, 649.54. I'm guessing it should be about two minute startup, maybe a little more. Not a 10 minute startup like it used to be. And we're keeping an eye on our hard drive activity down here. So it's been a minute. Uh, after you modify the um, system configuration, the startup, you get this little box and you just want to click your check mark and then hit OK so you don't see that again. And I'll bring up the task manager. You can see I instantly have access to the task manager. And if we take a look at the processes starting right now, um, we're basically waiting on Norton to start, which it does so pretty quickly. And we're almost at the two minute mark, I believe. Yeah, still got a few seconds here. We're waiting to get to 54 seconds. That would be two minutes. And we're waiting for our CPU to drop off. Because um, right now we're still starting Norton. So Okay, CPU already dropped off. Hard drive uh, back to normal. Minute and a half. So that reduced my startup time on my computer from 10 minutes to a minute and a half, all by adjusting my startup. There's no defragmentation going on, no magic, uh, magical registry cleaner. I hear these commercials for registry cleaners all the time. It's just, just the biggest waste of money ever. Uh, it's like the snake oil of computing these days. Um, all I had to do was click start, run, Type in msconfig, click OK, and check out my startup. Startup, uh, basically, I deselected everything that was not security software. And in here, I deselected a few services that I just didn't need. So, I hope this video helps you guys speed up your computers. Um, it makes a drastic difference. And, um, and, and you know, load times and just operating your computer. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's this video for now, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. See you.